Hello everyone and welcome to Cinematech. Today on the channel we are doing another classic trailer reaction, this time for the amazing Korean director Bong Joon-ho. He recently won a bunch of awards for Parasite at the Academy Awards as well as all over the world, but we are going to be looking at trailers from his first three films, starting off with Barking Dogs Never Bite. I tried to find the original Korean trailers where I could, in some cases I did, in some cases I didn't. I hope that's okay. That said, please remember to subscribe to this channel and like this video if you like it. Enough of that though, let's start watching the trailers. That's a, ooh, that's a lot of quick editing. And a knife, a bloody knife. That's on, that's on point. Ooh. Wait, what's even happening here? Not being able to read Korean is gonna be a problem for me today, I think. Okay, we got a chase sequence. Ooh. A slow motion shot of someone getting hit by a door. Is this film supposed to be a comedy? Is that what's going on here? Something interesting about the uh, some of those shots as well. Looks like he's going for a more closer and using a wide lens, which kind of distorts the faces a little bit more. But now that's like three thousand shots ago. Is that is this is this a Pulp Fiction reference, Bong Joon Ho? This light. On these faces, oh, and a bloody nose. Maybe not. Pulp Fiction, then. <laughs> Couple of people looking happy while they're jogging. Although everyone knows that you cannot be happy while you jog, so I don't know how truthful this trailer is to real life. Okay, I uh, I don't know what this movie is about. I have not watched that trailer before and I now have no better idea about what's going on. I assume it's about the relationship between two people just based on what I'm seeing, but there's a lot of other stuff going on. Maybe it would be worth it to just quickly check the IMDb plot synopsis for that. An idle part-time college lecturer is annoyed by the yapping sound of a nearby dog. He decides to take drastic action. Okay, okay, I'm getting it a bit more. So apparently this is a slapstick comedy that just features a couple of people investigating the disappearances of dogs in a building. And those people have their own reasons for looking for dogs or thinking that they might be involved in it. Um, I didn't get any of that from the trailer, but I also couldn't read any of the words that were on screen, so that might have had something to do with it. If you've seen Barking Dogs Never Bite, let me know in the comments what this film actually has going on for it and if it's worth checking out. Obviously, there's some interest to it because it's Bong Joon-ho's first feature-length film, but if there's anything in it beyond it that would make me want to watch it, let me know. Next, we have the trailer for Bong Joon-ho's second film, Memories of Murder. Let's check it out. Between 1986 and 1991, 10 women were murdered. Oh. There were 3,000 suspects. 1.2 million tried to find the murderer. Jeez. But he has not yet been caught. Is this a thing that actually happened in Korea? Is this based on real-life events? It's really difficult for me not to just read out the subtitles to you guys. So I'm guessing this is a cop of some kind recounting something, or someone who witnessed something. Someone who's having a memory of murders. Right, 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 right. So it seems like we're getting an interplay here between memory and confession and how those two things interrelate. It is a film about serial murder. Okay. Thank you for clearing that up. So now we're getting some detectives at a crime scene. I like how we're actually getting longer scenes in this. Oh, so this is kind of going with the idea that they don't really have ever had to deal with a serial killer before. They've beaten up a lot of people probably because they're getting frustrated. Oh, that was a nice little drop kick. Damn. Watching a TV show called Chief Detective, it's interesting. They weren't, yeah, this kind of implies that they never really treated it seriously, and then when they started to treat it seriously, it went way off the rails. And based on that, it looks like there's going to be a twist in this film as well. They thought they had caught the murderer, but they actually hadn't. 
So this, yeah, this is implying that the cops are at least so inept that they didn't know how to handle the situation at all. They wanted to desperately catch the murderer, but this makes me think that uh, maybe they didn't. Or maybe it's one of those situations where you get to the end of the film and you know who the murderer is, but you but that person isn't actually arrested. They're not brought to justice. Uh, that would seem to be what is going on here, at least to some degree. Memories of a Murder is also available on YouTube right now for free if you want to watch it. It's not the best quality version at all, uh, but it's there if you want to check it out right now. Or if you want to wait for a better quality version, the Criterion Collection is going to be releasing it sometime soon in the future, probably alongside Parasite, Bong Joon-ho's most recent film that we already talked about. But overall, that trailer makes me very intrigued to see Memories of a Murder. Uh, not just because Bong Joon-ho is a very well-noted and well-respected director these days, but that actually looks pretty quality, so yeah, I'm into this. Finally, we have the trailer for Bong Joon-ho's first big international success, I'm going to say. This is a film that actually first came to me because someone had bootlegged it onto a DVD and gave it to me in high school, I think, or maybe at some point early in my university career. I actually never ended up watching that bootleg, which is for the best, because I imagine, as like most Bong Joon-ho films, they are probably best enjoyed in a theater and not on a DVD rip of some theater cam. But it's also been a long time since I've seen any promotional anything for the host, so I remember kind of what the film is about, but maybe there's gonna be some, some new shocking surprises in this one for me. Let's look at this trailer. Mr. Kim. Oh. It's an English dude speaking English. What? Pour him into the sink. Oh, he wants to pour the formaldehyde out. I wonder if this is meant to be some kind of eco-environmental uh, kind of film. Like, oh, look at all the bullshit we did by pouring this formaldehyde down the drain and now we have to deal with a creature. It's kind of like the, the origin story of Godzilla. We blew up a whole bunch of nukes and then on, now we have to deal with uh, a giant lizard dude. Oh, that guy is definitely from Parasite, and I cannot remember his name right now. Some happy people getting into archery. I imagine there's a family connection there. That's actually an interesting shot. That kind of reminds me of Parasite, the, the family living in the basement. And now we get... Ooh, that definitely looks like a creature in the background. He looks hungry. Got the military out, we got hazmat suits, we got a guy slipping and falling because... Gotta bring some levity to films like these. Okay, oh, so this film is about the family trying to get the daughter back? Is that right? And I guess they can't get any help because everyone needs some help and the authorities are not going to be the ones to do it. So we're getting some people with shotguns, it looks like we're going to get some people with bow and arrows. Yes, they set that up earlier in the trailer, I always like to see that. I've heard your daughter's still alive. Why didn't you contact the police, or the military, a human rights organization, something? This is actually pretty interesting, the way that this, I mean, this is obviously uh, an American trailer, or at least one for English-speaking audiences, and the way that they are just focusing on the people who are speaking English as opposed to subtitling everything, I kind of like. And now we're just getting, like, just shots of everything. My god. I don't even know what I just saw. All right. Oh, Song Kang Ho. That's the name of the guy. Of course, of course. From Parasite. We all know him and love him now. So that actually looked like a pretty good film. I'm actually kind of sad that I didn't get into Bong Joon-ho earlier than just having Parasite bombarded at me every single day for the last like two or three months. Actually, longer than that. The last six months or so. One of the bylines in that trailer said this is one of the greatest monster films ever made. And based on that trailer, I kind of have to believe it. Or at least I believe it enough to want to go see it. So this is another one that I just really want to see. Uh, the only thing that these trailer reaction videos are making me want to do is just watch more movies, which is hopefully actually what it's uh, doing for you as well, dear viewer. So once again, if you have seen The Host, if you have seen Memories of Murder, if you have seen Barking Dogs Don't Bite, please let me know in the comments below which ones are your favorite or which ones you would be most excited to see. And if you want to see more trailer reactions like this, please subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, do all that stuff that you know how to do. Thank you very much. My name is TJ, and stay inside, stay safe, and watch more movies.